All right, I'm in Roseville. That's not even close to the Bay Area. It's two whole hours outside of it. Uh, buying a Honda Grom today. Uh, the sun isn't a bad. I mean, there's just no good. There's no good angle here. Um, buying a Honda Grom. Uh, we ordered it like three months ago, and it's finally ready. And they gave us like 48 hours to pick it up. It's total malarkey. But uh, gonna pick that up, and then I'm sure there's gonna be a, a video clip after this of me looking at the Grom, and then there's gonna be a whole nother video clip after that of me riding the Grom. Um, maybe a whole clip after that of me, after I drive home, Neil riding the Grom. Maybe that's where I'll also film my clip of riding the Grom. But anyway, pretty stoked on it. Honda Groms are very cool. They have uh, disc brakes. They're like, I think 125 CC. Uh, they're telling us it's gonna be five grand, which, uh, what? But uh, we'll see. They're 3,300 MSRP, which I didn't, I didn't, under, I don't understand where like a $300 tax and then like where's the other 1200 coming from? I don't know, but uh, pretty stoked on this. So I'll, uh, I'll check in uh, whenever I do. Ooh. Howdy boys, 2023, 5K sub special. Neil's doing a backflip. Now here's the Grom. It's pretty stoked to ride this thing. Gonna dent it up just so people don't steal it in SF. All right, all right, we're all squared away. This thing is beef. I'll show a little more in depth when I get back to San Francisco. So we just pulled it out of the truck. I'm about to take it for a spin. Neil's kind of just sitting on it. Look at, that's so cool. This thing is freaking badass. All right, I'm gonna go rip it around, uh, up and down some hills real quick, and then I'll come back. I'll be so initial, take i got up to third gear for a brief amount of time but really second gear can get up to 30 miles an hour i did some hill climbing on it you do have to start in first which is kind of lame but you know that's part of the game oh whoa, whoa. it does have some pepper i i gave it a, a i had like a little mini wheelies <laughs> yeah that thing is sick man because like i've been on a 250 before I've ridden a 250 before, but it's a lot more bike, so you don't get the sort of pep that this one gets because it's so small. It, it it picks up and it's it's spry, it's nimble. Jesus, bro! <laughs> it's the it's amazing. Oh, uh, that's amazing. What'd you do? What? What'd I you do? Yeah, yeah. See, this is amazing. I love it. I'm in love with this bike. All right, easy. Okay. It's got the discs are amazing. Hell yeah. Sick. Super hyped on this thing. Now we've got we've got this old scooter. And now we've got this added to the quiver. Easy. All right. It's a cool bike. It's pretty fast. It's got a gnarly top end. Yeah, I know. The top end is, blew me away, honestly. Yeah. We are going to take the Grom for a little lap. We're mountain biking tomorrow. This will be a different video. This is just going to be like a mini little Grom video. Uh, I'm not going to. I'm going to wear this just because it's, eh, you know, it's almost Christmas and um, it's cold. Here's the Grom. Pretty freaking sweet. Huge fan of this thing. Uh, yeah, here we go. All right, here goes nothing. Oh yeah, this is sweet. This is a bitchin' bike, man. I, I'm 
super technical so I've been having to uh, brush up on some things but uh, you know nothing I can't handle I've been, I was a data scientist for a little bit and I've done a lot of coding in my free time starting up projects so I know what I'm doing this thing will wheel it it will wheel it pretty goddamn cool I think it's called Lion Shooter. I'm smiling so big right now, you can't tell. 
I think you get up to 60 in a kid. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, a fun experiment. All right, here's a, this is a big hill. starts to yell at you and obviously I'm on a hill so it's probably closer to 30 I'm not on a hill but it's funny the low end on this thing it leaves a little bit to be desired but once you hit that top end man, it hits hard it's like a two stroke in that way it's funny I have two fingers on the clutch at all times like when I race moto Broderick I'm pretty sure Broadway and Broderick is one of the steeper streets in SF Instinct right away means you can just walk whenever you want. Uh, which, if you look up the law, that is not what it says. It says whoever starts first needs to finish what they're doing. And if two people are waiting, the pedestrian has the right of way. But yeah, that's how people get like mad at you if they walk in front of your car and you almost hit them. And then you, you give them the like, what are you doing? They just, uh, they get upset. It's like, oh, didn't you read my mind? 